Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Plus Studio and today I'm going to show you three ways to do a continuous zoom in in your video in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and here as you can see I have a clip of a man about to do some calligraphy uh, but it's a static shot on a tripod and I would like to make it a bit more dynamic by adding a continuous zoom in. So to do that I'm going to share with you three ways to do it depending on the context you might prefer a certain way or another. Because I'm going to share with you one way that's going to affect the entire clip, another one that's going to be a bit more localized and another one going to be localized and adaptive. So let's get started. So for the first one I just want to select my clip and then go over to the inspector and here I want to just tick dynamic zoom it will automatically just create a zoom so right now as you can see it's just adding a tiny bit of zoom the main problem with this method is that I have uh, almost no control over it I can choose just here to have either a zoom in or by clicking swap or to have a zoom out instead you can choose from linear is in is out and is in and is out for the type of animation but that's pretty much it and it just creates a bunch of inconvenience first off it's on the entire clip maybe you want to localize it a bit more and also maybe you want to choose how much you want to zoom in or zoom out so for now i'm just gonna deactivate it and that's gonna lead me to the second method which is using an adjustment clip so i'm gonna go over right here to effect effect and here adjustment clip i'm just gonna drag that right above my clip and here let's say i want not uh, the zoom to affect the entire clip but i want it to start only uh, there and end there i can just extend it to the entire lens where i want that zoom in to happen go at the beginning of the adjustment clip here put a keyframe on the zoom and then i'm gonna go at the end of my adjustment clip then I'm gonna click once on my back arrow to go one frame backward, and then I'm gonna increase the zoom. And now if we play it, as you can see, we had all zoom starting right now, continuing, continuing, and it will just end towards the end. Now, if you want to make any modification, just go back where you put the keyframe, and then you can just adjust uh, that zoom by zooming a bit more or a bit less, and then playing back again. And as you can see right now, we just increase uh, the amount of zoom. So the zoom is quicker and we're zooming more into the image. So this is very nice and more useful. But now, as you can see, if I were to just trying to extend that adjustment clip, uh, the keyframe here will stop. And then we have no zooming anymore because the keyframe was around there. And now we just have no keyframe uh, to continue the zoom. Which leads me to the third method, which still use an adjustment clip, but this time we're going to quickly go over to Fusion and use Anim Curve. So I'm going to delete that adjustment clip, bring a new one over my clip right here. I'm going to go over it, select it and go over to Fusion. Now in Fusion, I'm going to select my media in one and here I'm going to hit Shift Space on my keyboard and search for Transform and I'm going to bring here a Transform node, not the Transform XF. I'm going to bring the Transform node this one okay i'm gonna select it add and here it just bring the transform in between my media in and my media out now here we have a parameter called zoom i'm just gonna right click on it and here modify with anim curve and open up the modifier tab i'm just gonna go to the modifier tab now switch that from transition to duration but now as you can see if i go back to frame zero it's just scaling or clip completely so to modify that we're gonna go right here and set the offset to one instead of zero and it will just enable us to start here from the default frame rather than the frame being smaller and then we can have that zoom going on then we can adjust the strength of all zoom with the scale right here so i'm gonna reduce it considerably right here at one for example and now if we play it we'll get the zoom we can easily increase or decrease that zoom here with the scale and the cool thing as well is that right now we have curve selected linear but we can choose to have easing and choose from a bunch of different uh, easing solution right here or you can even do your own curve by selecting custom and here you can make your own custom curve adjustment right now i'm just going to go back to linear and we're going to go back to the edit page and as you can see now if we play it we get the zoom but we can easily extend that adjustment clip now and so it will automatically adapt and stretch that zoom for us so that will make that adjustment clip responsive and very easy to use and that's pretty much it i hope this video was helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe let me know in the comment what kind of video you would like to see next and see you in the next one bye
speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.